Hello everyone, this is Planet Mitch from LightRumors.co with an update about hair. Yes, hair. I've been doing some reports live on Facebook about the top 10 things that excite me about the L16 and how I think it's going to change the world of photography. And Sippos made a comment, this comment actually, which was a photograph of a couple and you can see her hair is kind of like static electricized. If the, <laughs> I'm making up words here. Stuck to his head and you see the hair in between. And it's it started to make me wonder exactly what we're going to get with the L16. And how it's able to create amazing background bokeh or bokeh. Thanks, Paul. And so I did start doing some research and I thought, you know, this is going to be a difficult problem. So, one of the first things that we know of that's out there in the wild right now is the Apple iPhone 7 Plus, which has portrait mode in it. It has two cameras, a wide angle and a little bit narrower angle. I think it's a 20, a 24 and a 35. I don't remember exactly what the millimeter ratings are. And Michael posted about this developer video from the Apple Worldwide Developers Conference and it has to do with the depth map depth I see I can't say that word depth map and if you look in this section over here it's, if my highlighter works well of her hair and it's really hard to see and I'm imagining this is really bad in this video but her hair is really not separated from the background. There's a big section right here that's kind of just like in focus because, well, the sensors and the lenses on the iPhone 7, just like on the L16, i7 Plus, iPhone 7 Plus, are pretty much everything's in focus. So they're creating the blur in software. And so it's having a hard time separating that. So I wanted to see some other examples. So I went digging out on the internet and I found a couple of examples of portrait mode. And in this particular one, this young lady has hair frivol all over the sides. Frivol? I just made up another new word. And you can see over on the right side that the iPhone 7 Plus with portrait mode has just obliterated her hair. So let's keep going. It's not just about the hair, right? I found this uh, post on Delight Photo from Johan. And he had, and this is a article from May 5th, so it's a relatively recent. This is July 2nd when I'm recording this. He has gone and done some analysis. And you see in this first image, the iPhone is over on the far left. And there's there's not enough information in each one of these images to really do a whole lot of analysis, but it's rather interesting if you want to try to compare the iPhone in portrait mode on the left. It's somewhere maybe between F4 and F8. It's not exactly F6 in terms of the background bouquet. Uh, and it's a little blurrier compared to... These shots, the F2, 3 off 11, were shot with the DSLR, 5D Mark IV with the Zeiss... 50 millimeter lens, so not a re not exactly a fair battle, but that's what we want to see in the L16, right? Is this kind of a battle? But if I scroll down, you see some of these images. Uh, this is uh, a shot with portrait mode on the iPhone 7, and you can see that it's just having a real devil of a time with any of the nuances of this uh, fence. Uh, this leaf down here just really botched the heck out of the edges of these leaves. Uh, so there's some really interesting examples of the problems of doing this kind of computational imaging. Uh, obviously, they're creating a depth map. And look at this beautiful photo of this wine glass at the airport. This is an airport because I know because I've scrolled down. Let me scroll down. Notice the top of this wine glass. <laughs> this is, this is, I'm laughing because you're going to find this funny. 
here's the real photo and look the iPhone has just whacked off the entire top of this wine glass and it's gone <laughs> it's just gone <laughs> Uh, that's funny, isn't it? So in this recent example from the folks over at Light, that was an Instagram photo, if you look specifically at this young lady who's on top of the sand dune, and this is just a section of the image, I've, I've grabbed a small section of it, uh, you notice that there isn't really any problem like we're seeing with the iPhone images. There's no problems in between her arms. Her hair is a little hard to see, but uh, this is looking pretty good. Now the background is obviously just sand, so it's a little hard to see. Uh, but I thought, hey, wait a minute, we've got some other samples. Let's go, th go through some of those. And the first one that popped up to me was, of course, this image from Light's shoot at Cuba, and I have blown this up, but guess what? Here's some hair, lots of hair, all kinds of blowing, windy hair, and in the section in front of her face, to the left side of the image, I can't really see any problems here whatsoever, and I think the iPhone would have really botched that completely. Uh, the right side, I mean, you it's hard to know, but there might be a slight problem right here where her chin is. Uh, it's hard to tell whether or not her chin is blurring into the horizon. Uh, but if you look at the right side of the image, there could be some issues right here with her hair. But guess what? I've blown this up. This is... This is what the original image looks like, and you're not going to be able to tell whether that's a problem or not. And you're certainly not going to see that little tiny blip under her chin if that is a problem. Uh, so, I think that we can make some analysis here and say that the Light L16 is doing an amazing job in dealing with these kind of problems, and the iPhone 7 isn't. I went through the other samples that we have from Light and did not find a better example of this particular question. I think this one particularly answers Sippo's question on the forum, on the Facebook group. And I think we've got an amazing tool to work with. It may not be perfect, uh, especially on day one, maybe. Uh, there may still be problems, but I mean, if you compare this to this, then we have got some outstanding stuff to work with. Let me remind you that uh, I work at a place called Light Rumors. It's my favorite place. We're going to be talking about all kinds of things with the L16 moving forwards, not to mention even the iPhone, the new software, because the iPhone 8 is coming and iOS 11 will be doing really cool things with depth map, depth, see I cannot say that word, depth maps, and augmented reality, and just amazing stuff. So keep tuned to us by joining over at Light Rumors. Uh, there is a members section, and right now there isn't a whole lot in it. But there will be more and more free stuff coming. It's a free membership. Uh, I remind you that if you want to and you become a member, you not only get our newsletter every time we send out a blog post, but you will be able to submit your own blog posts, which would be really cool. Uh, we've already had our first submission by a community member. Uh, obviously, we will have a forum. We have a question and answer section. We will have the gallery where you can submit photos of your own shot with the L16. We will even have a cinema for new L16 videos. We will also have a store. <laughs> and I, I'm laughing because right now, if I click on shop, there is one item in the store. Here it is. Come on, there it is. The first light L16 ebook, which is currently not available because I haven't finished writing it yet, but two people have ordered it, so and it's free, 
but you have to be a member in order to order it. So, anyway, lots of great things coming from lightrumors.co. Make sure you sign up to be a member. Again, it is free, and the benefits will be astounding. Thanks to Sippos also for posting about my Facebook Live and asking the question, because it turned into be a very interesting conversation, didn't it? I'll talk to you guys again later. Thanks a lot. Bye.